muscle, right? You're gonna muscle. Sandblast it, box it, send it up a car. We put the plates in nice solid here. All is solid, make the cutout for the provision for the fucking cross member. This ain't the cross member we're running, so this gotta go bye bye. See, we got the frame here. Shout out Mr. Lofton, we found him a frame. This is a 71. We learned a lot about this car going in depth with this type of build. Uh, the 71, 72 frames are pretty much the same. 73 is when it changes. And when I say the same, the radiator support and the way that the fender wheels mount to the car can be interchangeable. They're the same. So um, it is a two door hard top frame where it doesn't have all of the boxes, everything in here. But obviously once we send this out to be stripped, we're gonna weld everything up even stronger than what it would have been from the factory. But this is be our transplant frame. Uh, we already showed you all of the parts, you know, Mr. Lofton purchased, you know, he has the QA1 suspension front and rear. You guys are gonna see that installed. We're gonna give you our opinion. We're not a dealer of QA1, so this is something that he bought, but it's actually a good quality product. So we'll be able to give you an unbiased opinion of this product. He has the rosary in, so it's a lot of bells and whistles that's already gonna be done. He selected to paint this frame as well, so you're gonna be able to see red do the Midas touch one more time to this frame. So I'm really excited about going forward with the project, you know, not only with, you know, the next step with the framework, but we also get to take the body itself where we actually did all of the metal work. You guys get to see us mount the body here. It's gonna be frame modifications as well to accommodate the bigger wheel size, so you guys will get to actually see that. So it's a lot of big work that's gonna be done. This is very exciting. This is a huge draw for this car. So all of my Donk fans, 71 through 76 convertible hard top guys, we got a lot of juicy meat gonna be cooked. You know, very delicate. This is gonna be a gourmet plate. So you guys sit still. It might take a little longer than expected, but that's how good meals do. It's not Popeyes, it's not instant. You can't put it in the microwave and get what we do. You know, all this gotta be prepared. It gotta be prepped. The table gotta be laid out. And I'm finna let Mr. Rich and Red do their thing, man. Y'all stay tuned. VTS V Auto. Adjustable coilovers and long trailing arms that's boxed in for more strength. Here we go. All right, now. Look at how nice they package these things. They ain't dancing around in the box. You know, some Super of the ones we get all locked in, so don't no bumps here, no bumps there and there. It's there. We back at it, VTS Viano. Obviously, Mr. Rich is showing you we next is the installation of the QA1 rear suspension that we're doing on uh, Mr. Lofton's 72 Impala convertible. Um, is the coilover installation. So as I said, we're not a dealer of QA1. We're giving you our honest opinion. Um, to, you know, keep it real, like we actually liking what we see so far. You know, all of the stuff is looking good. It's packaged right, you know. So all of the stuff is there, I heard him say. You know, so now we're going to see, but just to give you guys a little highlight of what we did so far. Like, that's an old skeleton, and then it's like new part that just, like, you know, you have a black and white video, and then it's the color. You know what I mean? Like, it's like all the other shit. The black and white until you get to the good part. Here's the good part. Then when the good part comes in, it's all something. So we got the Wizard of Oz treatment going on in V-Test Piazza, guys. Stay tuned. We got some real We got Mr. Rich back, energized, vacay. Look what's going on. Pop it. QA1. There's a lot of adjustability in, in the car. If you go on that side of it, you can see right there where the lower trailing arms connect to the rear end. You got four different mount locations. And in the front where the trailer, where the coilovers mount, you got six different mount locations. These are double adjustable. You, you, your adjustment is here and here. You know, so you can either thread them in shorter or thread them out and they extend them a little bit. And you got two places where you can adjust. That'll give us ability to tilt. 
this rear end of whatever opinion angle we want. You know what I'm saying? Why would you have to adjust it? Because of the ride height. Once we set the ride height, it's not gonna be at the factory ride height. Like these cars, most people like to squat in the rear. So once you set that stance, you can adjust the play. Once you drop the car, it changes the pinion angle. That adjustability will give us what we need for the pinion angle. This is a spherical bushing. This is a normal, regular bushing here, rubber bushing, that, you know, what the factory had in. This is a spherical bushing that's gonna have you a lot longer uh, wear wear and tear on it you know it'll last forever and it's going to give you a, a more cleaner articulation of your rear end it's not going to have as much play in layman's term as it would if it had a rubber bushing up front but these are box like if you look at these it's just like that square stop we finna buy to strengthen this these are box pieces with the provisions made on the end these mounts right here uh for a factory uh, for a sway bar what a rear sway bar if you had one uh, i do believe they make one mr lofton is actually looking we talked about it today clean setup you know very nice craftsmanship by qa1 you know i like the color even though we're going to be painting most of this stuff anyway so once again this is all pre-fitment you know this is what you do when you build cars on this level you know you measure i said measure twice you heard mr rich yell in the background measure three times <laughs> you know what i mean so it, we just do everything just to try to make sure we do it. Once we get a customer the car, the only thing they should come back to us for is to do another car or maybe add on to what they already did to this one. But for us correction work, we done corrected it a couple times before we even did final fitment. We double check, triple check. Before paint hit it, we made sure everything is level. And that's kind of why we're going to this extreme now. So we the sauce factory, man, if you want it. Just bring us a car. If you don't know what to do with it, we got you. That looks pretty sharp. but we're just doing this for fitment purposes because yeah. now we got to, because we made the wheel tub so wide, uh -huh. we got to narrow this part of the frame and yeah. we're just trying to reinforce it to find the best way to reinforce it where it's even stronger than what it is. So we got to build a little bracket to support it before we cut it, but we kind of wanted to see. This is the same size tire that you have, a 2610, five in the front, five in the back. Yeah. If we bring the line, you know, kind of further back here, we probably can keep a five inch lip in the back, shorten the axis two inches, mm -hmm. and then we can add a seven on the front. Okay. Now you got a 12 inch, you, you know, you need the potatoes now. Yeah. You know, so when you're putting that power down with that big motor, you got appreciate that. Thought process on so, that. Oh yeah, man, we're doing it. We had it like, at first we was like, you know, we're gonna stiffen the frame, we wanted to get the body mounted, but once we come down, thank you God, we got the type of customer who's got Mr. Lawson. We already got brand new body mounts, like I said. But once we widen it, when we come down, the wheel in a wheel tub mm -hmm. will bump a little bit here. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is get it cut. We're gonna brace everything first, get it cut, and then bring it down and bolt everything up like it's we bolt it to the factory final fitment, and then we'll take the wheels off and do all our stiffening and everything. We we excited, yeah, man. Yeah. We ready, man. Looking good. Hey guys, VTS Auto, man, I wanna let y'all know, this is my big brother, Mr. Lofton. You know, I look up to him, he my mentor. We just gonna say this is my mentor. He done became my mentor. <laughs> but he brought the first lady with us. You know what I'm saying? When the first lady come down, you know what that means, we cooking, guys. That means we, hey, the big boss here, that means we cooking, guys. VTS Auto, stay tuned, man. We got some big stuff coming, guys. Let's go.
We got the radiator support, push ends, and all that stuff. Some brand new Fender boats. You know, oh, good hardware. All that hardware type yeah. stuff. Yeah. And I checked last night. These are both right up to that. Oh, you, know, yeah. yeah. you put it up against. I good. put it up. The boat pattern is yeah. perfect. And then we got the, the mount plates for the frame. Yeah. yeah. So, See, these good. and those, those are, are pretty much are gonna bolt directly into the factory location where yeah. we actually needed to throw this transmission cross member yeah. with the mount plate. So there's a transmission mount in there as well. Correct. Bolts and all that. And I might want to get the motor and trans over here anyway at some point whenever you're ready for it. Yeah. Um, to do some detailing on it anyway. Oh yeah. How you've done some detail oh, on yeah, yeah. other builds that you're doing. You're definitely going to get a little paint. paint the custom paint and all yeah. that stuff. And then once we really gonna have to sit down and soon, you know, probably in the next month, and, and really fine tune what colors you want. Are you gonna stick with blue? I'm, I'm back you know, and forth. So I, that's I what I know. Like it, it, it's, so it's almost to the last minute, think, game think, time decision. What color is gonna be? I think okay. now. I think we decided on the um, California red tint coat. I think it, it is an sure. LT5 ZR1 color. Color. I wanted okay. to go with the um, same color. Sebring orange. Yeah. But I don't. For this particular body style, I don't think it'll look right. But with this the California red tint coat, it's a beautiful color. It's almost like a dark burgundy or maroon. Kind of like your Cadillac was. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think that, that color would go beautiful with this body style. And it's a ZR1 color. So it's still a ZR1 color. ZR1 color. That's something in here. Last night I had an idea. So when I saw this. I'm like, I want a license plate that says VTSV. Yeah, I want a license plate that says VTSV. V. That's yeah. what I want. Oh, That's what I want. Hell yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so check oh, it. For man. you guys that don't know, this is a Terra grill. When I seen it in the box, I already knew what it was. A company by the name of Terra make aftermarket grills for even the Range Rover, like Mrs. Lofton in and out there. They make high end. This is probably a $3,000 package, you know, with all of this stuff. This is the grill. You got the insert lights at the bottom. Another part here. Yeah, that's the bottom. This the bottom. Yeah. He got gold wheels. He got gold wheels already. Oh man. Looking good. Yeah. Bumper piece, grill insert. You know. So he do have rims already. I told you, man, I got, God be the glory, man. I got some of the best customers here at BTSV Auto. 90% of his parts, probably 90%, 95% of his parts, he already have. So it's just a matter of whenever we get to that phase here, bring them over. But this is another, y'all always hear me say it, fitment, fitment, fitment. This is another piece, it's bolt on, but we want to bolt everything up prior to once we bolt the front clip on to make sure everything is set, laser straight, and then we can blow it apart, wrap it up, paint it, and then do final fitment. But no surprises. No surprises, man. This is how we rock on Wednesday morning. I want y'all to know this before 11 o'clock, man. We cook. <laughs> Let's wrap this thing up.